YouTube, what is good with y'all? It is 2K made Aqua here. Y'all already know I'm back with another banger video on 2K25. And yes, today I'm be showing y'all how to use the dunk meter in NBA 2K25. This is a dunk meter tutorial, and it is a very simple mechanic to learn. So I'll be showing y'all everything about it. And first off, when I say I'm gonna show y'all how to use the dunk meter, I'm only gonna be showing y'all how to use the dunk meter to catch absolute bodies every single play. Okay, I'm talking about Anthony Edwards, John Morant. Vince Carter, I'll talk about those type of bodies, bro. We've been catching contact dunk after contact dunk after contact dunk, okay? I'm not even joking. And let me bring up my player card real quick just to show that I am valid, okay? I've been playing this game. I've been playing it a lot, but I have been playing this game, and I am on my play shot demigod build. And once again, I have a video on this on my page. If you want to check this out, it is a 93 driver dunk, so it makes me get contact dunks every single play, and it is so crazy, bro. So crazy. But yeah, I'm not going to waste y'all time. All I do ask if you like this video. Make sure to go down below and give your boy a subscription. But first off, let me show y'all. I'm not going to lie. Let me show y'all my animations for my dunks, okay? Let me show y'all my contact dunk animations because this is very important, okay? You want to make sure that you go to the dunk style creator all the way over here. And now you want to make sure that you equip contact dunks right here. I see I have pro contact dunks equipped. I have small contact dunks equipped. I have pro and small once again. And those are the best contact dunks in the game. Small and pro. Well, elite are the best, but small man contact dunks. I would say those are the best in the game for small people under six foot five. They are so glitchy. You get so many bodies, bro. But yeah, so make sure you get contact dunks. You have to have an 89 drive dunk, 78 drive vertical minimum to get contact dunks. So make sure you have those. And after you equip those, you got to go all the way back to your animations and you got to go and equip them in your dunk style. So you see, I have the meat quit right here. Now, let's go on to the court right here. And I'm going to show you how to use this new and improved dunk meter in NBA 2K25. So it is very simple and it is just like last year. So all you do, you want to hold the turbo button. So I'm on Xbox. So all I'm doing is holding the right trigger or RT. So hold RT to run to the basket. And when you're right about it, the free throw line, you flick your right stick up and then you flick it down and hold it immediately after. And you let go when the bar is in the green window. So once again, you run to the paint, you flick up on your right stick and you hold down immediately after until the beater is in the green window okay so you'll see the meter you can change the meters around i like this meter personally uh the meter that's stock in nba 2k25 but once again all you do you hold turbo run to the basket holding turbo you flick your right stick up and then you hold it down immediately after and when the ball is in the green window or when the bar is in the green window then you let go stop holding it down okay so once again flick up hold down and then let go when it is in the green window it is very simple but the online latency will make this a little bit more challenging for you than if you were normally were to like just like do it in here okay but this is probably the best way to learn okay you will get your timing down easily and it is very simple so once again for the last time you're just going to go to the paint hold rt flick your right stick up and hold it down immediately after and i'm not gonna lie you will be catching body after body after body it's probably the most broken thing in the game okay so if you want to catch contact dunk after contact dunk you need to master this bro and i'm not gonna lie in online latency when there's a guy standing under the paint the meter is literally gonna be so small that you can barely time it so this is a huge skill gap and you need to learn how to time it correctly so what i would do i would have a friend go into the micro with you and i would literally just have him sit under the rim and you practice over and over again yeah this is all for me in this dunk meter tutorial video i know this is a short video but we have been dropping daily uploads every single day so i'm not going to be bringing all the longest dunk meter tutorials pretty simple to learn but yeah that is all for me it's been 2k made aqua and i'm signing out peace with y'all boys